Adobe FrameMaker 2017 supports conditional content in both structured and unstructured content. Publishing conditional content to HTML5 is a great way to deliver information and allow your audience to pick and choose what they see. Consider materials that might be used by both participants in a course and the instructor. In the source file, there is content that is only applicable to students. The conditional material is set to appear as blue for the writer. There is also content in the source file that is only relevant for the instructor. The conditional material is set to appear as orange for the writer. The majority of the content, though, is applicable to all audiences. The same idea applies to content on the next page. Content within the topic on creating files is black when it applies to all, and the conditional text in orange or blue applies only to the instructor or the student. When the content is published to HTML5 and the settings are configured to use dynamic content filters, each condition can be shown or hidden. Most of the content is still viewable by all audiences. The default HTML5 display shows the content for creating files. Within it, both instructor-specific tips and steps for students are visible. In the same way, the table of contents has mixed content for both types of readers. When all content is displayed, the student welcome and instructor notes for both main topics are clear to see. Let's look at the default index as well. Tasks to guide students on how to create different sized pages are visible when all content is displayed, but isn't required by an instructor. The instructor also has a specific set of index entries related to what to address, the duration of the topics, and other classroom management materials. By changing the filter, the audience can decide what to read. Initially, all the content, including the instructor notes and the student material, is visible. When your audience toggles to just the instructor materials, the document updates. The step-by-step -step student materials vanish, and the instructor note remains. Let's go look at the table of contents next. The student welcome entries are gone, but the instructor notes are still visible for both modules. The index is also updated. Only the content for the instructor remains, and the information on how to create pages is no longer available. It's just not relevant to the current audience. Let's toggle to display the student version instead. Again, all the body content updates. The step-by-step -step student materials display, and this time the instructor note vanishes. Let's go look at the table of contents next. The student welcome entries display and, as expected, the instructor notes are gone for both modules. The index is also updated. Students are provided with index links to create different page types, but don't see the instructor information. Empowering your audience to choose their own content has never been easier. Create conditional text, configure your publish settings, and generate responsive HTML5 all at the click of a button in Adobe FrameMaker 2017. As a result, your readers will always have the right information at the right time. Everything they need to know can easily be found in the table of contents, the index, or the body content. And of course, it's all delivered as responsive HTML5 on any smartphone, tablet, or computer screen.